Welcome to episode 1 of Medical Mythbusters. Do vaccines cause autism? Scientists fear MMR linked to autism. Courts quietly confirm MMR vaccine causes autism. Donald Trump says vaccinations are causing an autism epidemic. Over the past two decades, public concern over the relationship between vaccines and autism has increased to the point that 1 in 10 Americans believe that vaccines are not safe for healthy children. This line of thinking is dangerously misguided. Vaccines are necessary to maintain the health of the entire population. To correct these false beliefs, today's video will debunk the myth that vaccines cause autism. To begin, we first need to understand what a vaccine is. Vaccines protect you from dangerous diseases. They achieve this by boosting your body's defense system or immune system. The most common type of vaccine is a live attenuated vaccine which is used for chicken pox and measles. This vaccine does contain the living disease-causing organism, but the organism is weakened to the point that it cannot cause disease. After injection with the vaccine, the cells of the immune system are able to recognize the disease-causing organism as foreign and threatening, so they destroy it and keep a record of its characteristics. This memory helps the immune system more easily recognize and destroy these organisms when it encounters them in the future. Think of your immune system cells as soldiers protecting a fort. If the enemy soldiers or disease get past the first line of defense and manage to attack the fort, your soldiers have two options. Fighting the enemy off, which means that you will recover from the illness, or they might not, which means you get very ill and possibly die. To increase the chance of your soldiers' victory, they need to be ordered to attack the enemies on site. The vaccine then serves as that command. The command will ensure that your soldiers attack first, preventing the enemy from getting near the fort. However, despite the advantages provided by vaccination, especially with the MMR vaccine, vaccines have been wrongly associated with the development of autism. This was because of a 1998 paper published in The Lancet that was written by Dr. Wakefield. According to Dr. Wakefield, the onset of autism was observed after administration of the MMR vaccination in children. When the MMR vaccine was licensed in 1963, there was a drastic decrease in the number of measles cases in the United States. Unfortunately, Dr. Wakefield's paper was a substantial setback. It caused a major public health issue in North America since multiple parents had ceased to vaccinate their children out of fear of them developing autism. The drop in vaccination rate had led to measles outbreaks in the UK in 2008 and 2009. Similarly, pockets of measles in USA and Canada were attributed to the lack of vaccination of children. The Lancet ultimately retracted the paper Dr. Wakefield had published and justified the retraction by admitting that several elements in the paper were incorrect. The research group had violated ethical regulations and falsified facts by picking and choosing data selectively. Following Dr. Wakefield's paper, multiple studies were conducted and published, attempting to establish an association between vaccination and autism. In all these studies, there was no link or association found between the MMR vaccination and autism. It is important to note that the MMR vaccine is highly effective as it protects 99% of children against measles, 95% against mumps, and 98% against rubella. All in all, the evidence suggests that MMR vaccination provides more benefits than any potential harm to children. The same can be said for most, if not all, vaccines. For more videos, please like, comment, and subscribe to the McMaster Demystifying Medicine series channel.